hey virgo welcome back to the channel kelly 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 from house of virgo if you're new please smash that like button and do subscribe if you want to get a personal reading there's a link in the description box below there are also a slew of timeless love readings for you virgo uh, in the description box you can click and see what shows up for you okay so you know what let's just get started all right you have the sword in the rose clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power and you have the runner okay you all right anything else here runner in a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego and cupid's arrows Pew. Having faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting, hesitation. Okay, let me see. So there's definitely a truth being revealed happening here about someone that is running away or has run away from a relationship. Okay, that's just the bottom line. The bottom line here. Okay. You got someone here where it's when it's time to commit or it's time to talk, or at least talk about issues, overcome conflicts or get close. You got somebody here who just runs, runs away, very avoidant. Okay. Um, doesn't want to get close or can't get close. I don't know if it's a choice or it's a lack of capability. Um, but yeah, that's definitely showing up here. And at the same time, hmm. I kind of feel like the, it's like two separate messages for you to just keep the faith. Um, now, I don't know if it's to keep the faith about this person that eventually will come around. Um, yeah, I think it might be. I think that this person is going to eventually come around. So this could be somebody you just met or um, that you've been dealing with. Let's take a look. Okay. Leo energy. Pisces with the moon. I'm hearing be strong, Virgo, be strong. Have faith, love is coming. There's a surprise invitation or a meeting, yeah. So you got somebody here who's definitely keeping an eye on you. When they're running away, they're looking in the rear view, right? They're keeping an eye on you. Um, but you do have someone here who, they don't want to reveal any secrets. They don't want to reveal themselves. They give you just a little, okay? Definitely. They give you just a little. I feel like this is someone who's very strong, though. I will say that. This is a very strong type of a personality. Um, could be like physically strong or just someone who's... You know, uh, people who have avoidant attachments tend to come off as being very strong. They seem quite subdued. Maybe the what do they call it? The, the silent type, that kind of person. Um, but it's crazy because I feel like this person, it's almost as if they come across here in this reading as being someone who just doesn't get attached, okay? Um, for their own fears, right? Based on their own fears. Um, even if they met the right person, I still feel like they keep themselves at a distance, right? But at the same time, and I feel like with you, I don't, I don't know if you're the right person for them or not, but I feel like with you, even if they feel like you're the right person, they they still run, but they still keep an eye on you. Which is kind of, it's, it's a little bit like um, push-pull. It's like, come over here, but don't get too close, right? Maybe somebody, you know, keeping you on like a tether, you know? A really long tether where it's kind of like, okay, like, you know, you put a dog on a really long leash, dog goes, like you're walking your dogs on the leash dog can go out like real far from you but can't fully get away hmm okay so is this person going to change like what's the deal why is this message showing up is because love is coming surprise something's gonna i feel like that's what spirit's trying to say that something's going to change here but hmm a lot of self-reflection with this person really I feel like they're kind of like staying to themselves and thinking about some stuff here. Let me see. Virgo energy, Pisces, Leo. Is this person going to like make some changes? Hmm. Okay. This person has, they're thinking about a queen of wands. 
I feel like you got somebody here who couldn't really make themselves available because of someone else, perhaps a, an ex or someone from a long time ago. Or if you just met them or you, the relationship is kind of still newish, they're, they're, I feel like this person is reflecting on this Queen of Wands. So somebody from, I don't feel like it's you right here. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like this th your person is thinking back on this relationship. They, they got some time, right? They run away. They got time. They're thinking about things. What are they thinking about this Queen of Wands? Oh, letting that go. So it's, it's somebody else that I feel like has an influence on them. I don't know. It could be romantic. It could be someone from their past who's very significant. Someone currently in their life, like a family member or a friend. Very significant. But this world... I feel like your person, this is what the change is. So they couldn't get close to you because they still had the energy of another person. Like a third party involvement, but in an energetic way. Now for some of you, they might still be involved with this person. But either way, the overall message here is I feel like they are doing some soul searching about this. And that it's time to start a new chapter. It's time to let go. It's time to move on from um, the influence of another person okay so that there's that okay this this is a very strong message of of their energy here now show virgo what's coming forward here like what's going to happen with this this relationship are they going to finally let go i mean i see them reflecting about it about moving on and starting over yes yeah they're going to walk away from this relationship it's done yep moving on okay there they might have been married to this person and then got divorced or there was a relationship and they broke up however could have been at any point for some of you it, or they're thinking about or they're currently with them and they're just like you know i gotta i gotta move on because now I'm conflicted, right? So that Eight of Cups makes me feel like this person is moving on. Either they were abandoned and they haven't let go, or they um, they are abandoning ship, which is like a relationship. They're not going to let this influence them anymore, okay? They're emotionally walking away. And that's why I feel like this person for you was not able to get emotionally attached mostly because their heart was filled with somebody else their emotions like there was no room for you fully in their heart because there was somebody else in there there was somebody else in there oh gosh i swear you know i have been shuffling this is my fourth this is my third or my fourth my third video i've done today and that king of cups just keeps showing up i'm telling you always the first court card that comes out okay so you could have a connection here with a water sign sun moon rising or venus okay yeah i feel like this this person is also looking at what they need to do like a like a serious cutoff and i feel like that's what's going to happen and it might even be more than one person or they're looking at the fact that they got cut off you might have cut them off, okay, um, due to this issue. You might have cut them off due to this issue, and they're sitting with themselves now. It's kind of, you know, it's a brave kind of move in some ways because this person doesn't know if you're going to take them back or not, but they're willing to let go. Like, I feel like the catalyst for change is coming because this person comes to realize that they needed to let go of this other person. Okay. Yeah. Heavy duty. Page of Pentacles. So this person really does have you up on like a pedestal. They really do admire you. They really adore you. Yes, Virgo, they do. Um, they do. I feel like they just got stuck. Maybe they got stuck. They just couldn't. They could have been one of those people that just got into another relationship or gets into other relationships as a way to cope with an abandonment issue or a loss instead of sitting with themselves.
taking time for just themselves and healing, facing themselves. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like the, the, there's, there's karma happening here. This person is getting some kind of karma, karmic justice. And there's a decision. This person, your person needs to, uh, they're coming to terms, but they need to compromise here. They need to give a little. If, if there's no, if there isn't a little bit of give, something's going to break. And I feel like there's a, there was a lack of flexibility in this relationship between you and this person. They were real stiff, so to speak. They wouldn't give and something broke. That's what the compromise is. This person is, um, feels heavily bonded to you, heavily chained to you. There's a physical, a, a very strong physical uh, or sexual lust. And they, ha they have a little bit of envious, enviousness, envy, envy. They have a little bit of envy. But yeah, the Ace of Cups is coming in here. It's going to get rid of that devil energy and heal this, heal this relationship. So I feel like this is a really good message um, as far as you know, you guys are, feel like you're in this situation and you've been dealing with a runner. Let's see the overall outcome here for Virgo. Okay, nice. Six of Swords, Two of Cups. Yeah, you guys are definitely, there's going to be a coming together. Definitely. Uh, a, a necessary transition. There might even be relocation or moving or... Um, movement to come together there's a lot of passion for each other the fiery energy i feel like when you two get together um you could feel that spark it turns into a flame builds up yeah so i do see that you guys are going to come together with the two of cups energy and have a new um i'm going to say a new start here uh, a, a romantic relationship a new partnership for perhaps a proposal or marriage um, being on the same page getting on the same page okay because i don't feel like you and your person really were on the same page you maybe wanted different things or one was available and one wasn't is the biggest message that i'm getting so yeah um through august there will be a coming together a meeting up maybe talking and trying to get into alignment I feel like there's a, a going to be maybe some conversation about meeting. And I feel like over here, that's you. And you're like, yeah, okay, I'll just, I'll take a boat, <laughs> you know, or drive or just take a bus or something. And this person's rushing. They're going to be there first when you come together. They're going to arrive before you do. Yep, time apart. So distance helps bring clarity. So if you're you and this person are at a distance or separated or not talking this time apart is definitely bring bring clarity for this person but i feel like for you too because that's what that clarity and truth is what's your clarity and truth that you're dealing with a runner the air that you have been so there's definitely going to be some communication this time apart induces self-care opportunity for two people to clear their energy field focus on themselves before acting right and there yep there you go there's interference external party intruding on this relationship and it has been so it could actually be someone who's been physically present or just in a memory anything else for virgo okay Yep, retreat, time alone or in nature helps you recharge you and this person. Okay, someone's undergoing a spiritual awakening here. Children might be a part of this rate of relationship. It could be you have children together or there's children involved. It could also be um, maturing. A maturity is happening, which is nice. All right. Any cosmic insights for Virgo? Sorry, this. I hope this reading isn't late tonight. I'm doing this so late. Oh, love spell. You've been bewitched. <laughs> there is a love spell cast over both of you. There's. I feel like you and this person are truly like head over heels for each other. 
or at least were okay gambling somebody might have an addiction okay there could be gambling a challenge that could also be playing a role in this relationship as well needing to work on inner healing okay let go make room for the new beginning on its way to you now virgo beautiful look at that i love it yep there's definitely a new beginning keep its arrows i'm telling you there's a an energy of like falling in love again <laughs> someone is still trying to figure their sexuality out that could be the interference as well Okay, open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. Beautiful. Be the love, Virgo. Be the love. All right. Hey, everybody in the chat. Please put the number one if this resonates. Number two if it's not. Put a one in the comments, too, if this resonates for you. And number two if it doesn't. Putting in effort. Okay, yeah. So effort is definitely going to be put in to make changes here. Family celebrations, wedding, engagement party. Oh, yeah. You two are going to be definitely connecting in that way. There's a reunion. That's a four of wands. So there's a homecoming. There's also going to be some money in the bank. That's right. That's what we want to hear. I am not too loud tonight because my grandson is asleep in the next room. Okay, you also have good friends. Good friends showing up are going to be very uh, significant in now through August. Deeply loving male. That's the that's the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups. Deeply loving is a water sign. Yep, no one's as deep as a water sign when it comes to the emotions. Deep feelings. Uh, doesn't mean they're easily expressed, but definitely deep feelings. You know what? I'm going to throw out, I'm going to throw y'all out some physical features. Let's see what shows up here. Physical features. All right. Someone is very tall or just tall. This could be you or your person. Okay, someone has red hair. Someone has brown hair. Someone else has blonde hair. Look at that. Okay, someone has a piercing. Doesn't have to be on the lip. Could be on the lip, the lips. Let's see. Someone's got long hair very long flowing hair and, and <laughs> someone else has short hair is this all hair what's going on okay and someone else is also average height i don't know what is average height 510 for a male 54 for a female someone else that, so all the hairs are here <laughs> all the hair somebody might dye their hair a lot change their hair colors and also curly hair okay are there any other? Okay. We do have someone that has freckles. We do have someone that has a mustache. And we do have someone that has a beard. Okay. And last but not least, someone is muscular. Muscula and a mustache. A mustache, you a question. All right. Let's see if we can figure out this person's Chinese sign. Yours or theirs? Okay, Chinese signs. If you don't know your Chinese sign, just Google it. Month, date of birth, and your year. And then type in your Chinese sign. Okay, year of the pig. Year of the snake. Year of the horse. Year of the rat. Year of the tiger. Year of the monkey. Year of the dragon. And last but not least, year of the goat. Beautiful. All right. Okay, Virgo. Just going to give you a, a random message here. Oh, and also a rooster. Going to give you a random message here.
news worth celebrating virgo joyful announcements like engagements weddings pregnancy or graduation a time for gratitude close communities or chosen families yep you have a surprise message coming you a surprise meeting um this is going to be something to celebrate the three of cups there's definitely going to be a reunion i feel for you and this person where there's a huge shift and a change this person finally lets go of that energy that's been dictating their life um whatever that energy might be might be like i said it could be a person place or a thing could be uh, present or past whatever it is moving getting out of that all right we want to get your charms short on the charms tonight okay someone's in tibet all right we have scorpio twice we have capricorn and sagittarius okay let's see 1990 1986 uh okay we have the word bite somebody just took a bite bite of something someone's an editor or um like an editor i don't know what's an editor i'm gonna get a few more all right someone's 55 we have August 25th, we have 65, August 31st, September 9th, 74. Okay, AGR. Oh, that's like that AGR building. That shooter was on the AGR building, wasn't it? That's so weird. Okay, we have the letter Q. I just heard status quo. Okay. Um, drag just heard drag okay the month of august if your birthday is in august significant message here for you especially did i say 65 i don't remember if i did okay let me see okay we have the letter p oh there was no r was there this flip over okay gap somebody wears gap clothing is that still around Gap, can you, do they still sell clothes, jeans? Or you used to go to the Gap, that was like their place to go. Like in the mall, you went to the Gap. <laughs> Somebody's going to see a PG movie. They're going to a PG movie. Okay, we have the letter A, the letter G, letter P, the letter O, the letter Q. We have a B, we have an I, we have a T, and we have an E. Somebody is eating pie. Uh, there's pie. Okay. Gabby or Gabrielle? Or Gabby? Okay. Um, somebody's leaving a tip or is receiving a tip. Like money. Like a money. A tip. Somebody's carrying a bag. Or just carried in some bags. Okay. Somebody's eating tripe. Tripe. Isn't that um, cow intestines? Somebody likes tripe or eats tripe or their family used to make it. I always eat tripe. Somebody's, I'm seeing a pit, like a cherry pit. Spitting out cherry pits. <laughs> Pits. A pit, cherry, fruit, like some kind of fruit. Peach pit. Oh, that would be a great handle for like your username peach pit <laughs> maybe that's somebody's username peach pit <laughs> i don't know stuff that comes up bop somebody reads edgar Allan poe or is reading poe or is a poet so patrick pat patricia somebody smoking pot Okay, Taglia, Taglia, Taglia Mary, Tag, somebody's last name, T-A-G, Tag something. Okay, let me get your charms. <laughs> okay, so we have a palm tree. Um, somebody decorates a palm tree for Christmas. Um, 
yeah, there's palm tree. It lives where there's palm trees. But somebody puts like ribbons or red lights around a palm tree at Christmas. And then maybe you'll see some somewhere. Palm trees. Connection to palm trees. Okay, you also have a snake. Someone is shedding their skin. Shedding their skin. There's also um, a hummingbird. You might see a hummingbird. Or maybe you just recently saw one. There's a connection. If you see a hummingbird, or if you've recently seen one, um, this is definitely going to be a reading for you. Okay, let me get you. So, I feel like I keep picking up the same ones. Hold on. I don't want to pick up the same charms, you guys. Okay, so we have a unicorn here, a white unicorn with black, black hair. So it might be somebody who's very pale and has dark hair. Um, very pale. You guys, I keep getting grapes. <laughs> I keep getting grapes. So a duck went up to a lemonade stand. You got any grapes? Um, okay, last one. Eiffel Tower, okay, Paris, connection to France. Eiffel Tower, pant, pants, print, what the hell am I saying? France, there's a connection to France, or an Eiffel Tower, or a tower, like, could be in a casino, or some kind of, like, attraction, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave that reading there. I hope that, you know, as usual, you got something out of that. And don't forget, I'm uploading videos during the day. There's already two that have been uploaded today. So, or if you're listening to this on the 24th, um, was uploaded yesterday, go over and check those out. They're pretty interesting readings. Go listen to them. So you're getting three a day now. Can't beat that. They're all free. So definitely check that out. Like I said, if you guys want to get um, purchase the timeless readings, they're eleven dollars and eleven cents. They're in the description box below. There's also Virgo with whoever, whatever your person's zodiac sign. I have four left that I have to still do. You'll see all that down there. You can also book a reading with me. The links in the description box. Thanks to everybody who's joined the membership recently. I just want to give you a quick shout out. If there was anyone, nope, still the same people. So thank you for your super chats. If you have donated a super chat to my channel greatly appreciated that if you are a member you can also gift super chats to everybody right you could gift one membership 2.99 or you can become a member so yeah too much to say i'm just gonna leave you a reading i will see you guys back here tomorrow love ya bye